Hello. I know. It's been a while since I've really done any vlogging. Um, but I kind of just want to update all of you as to what's going on in my life in terms of drama, theater, whatever. Um, so as I mentioned before, I'm currently working at a high school to put on a production. So, fun fact, they don't actually have a theater. Uh, so I've decided to create my own little theater. So they have a building that no one really uses for any classes other than me, because of course I'm that person. Um, and they decided to give me this room to kind of do whatever I want with. So my journey to there was a little rough. So let me tell you about that. So basically, what ended up happening is they told me that I didn't have a theater, I didn't really have any lights, but yet they wanted me to put on some shows. So I was like, what am I gonna do about this? So I decided, I looked through a couple different shows and I decided I was gonna go with a one act. So I decided to go with The Gift of the Magi. If you haven't read the story, it's a great short story. Anyway, moving right along. I decided that since they don't actually have a theater, I might as well take a room and transform it. So they don't really use this building, as I mentioned before. So I might as well do something with it, you know? And me, using my creative brain cells, I don't know what that was, but I apologize. <laughs> um, and really kind of just do what I want with the room. They initially very much resisted my efforts, um, but eventually they said, go for it. So, now was the first day that I actually got to do something with this room. So I'm a little excited to say the least. Basically, what we did today is there was a giant whiteboard. So, see this whiteboard? There was another one on this freaking wall. As you can tell, it is long gone now. But don't worry. We are going to make these walls beautiful. It's going to be stunning and lovely. I know, there's a lot of like, yucky glue on it right now. And I was trying to like, pick at it to try to get it off. But I'm probably just gonna need to take like some sandpaper or something to it. I thought I'd give you a little better look at the wall. Yeah, it doesn't look too pretty right now. And I'm sure you're wondering, why the heck is there just a gray section right here? Well. We decided to try out some paint to see how it was going to look on the wall because we're thinking about doing the trim of the door kind of with this lovely grayish blue. It said gray, but I don't know. I actually need to take this off. Well, that's my next job. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I got this little gray bit of blue going on. Um, so we're gonna, we decided we're gonna do that with the trim. As you can tell, there's a bit of a trim on the ground. Ignore that, it's really disgusting. We'll be taking care of that later. Yes, that is an outlet. Um, and yeah, and then we have this empty wall. So, basically like I just showed you, this wall right here, uh, we're gonna really end up cleaning that up. Um, a lot of it's going to be side stage. This is actually gonna be the stage right here. Um, recently just pulled that table out of storage. Um, and then along with these chairs, that stool we're gonna use, that mirror, gonna be in that corner but it's going to be hung up right there yeah that's another issue with doing something a show like this in a classroom is lighting so let me show you what we did up there all right y'all see how there's lights you know okay so there's a light switch for these lights see it turns on all three and then there's a light switch for these three lights what we decided to do is we took out the bulbs of these two so that we just have one light over there. All right, so then we're gonna do the same thing with those lights. So then essentially it's going to light one side of the stage. What we're also gonna do is probably end up taking the light and angling it so that I can really light this corner, which is going to have the mirror in it. The mirror's gonna be angled down slightly. Um, so you guys will see that better whenever I actually put it up. Um, yeah, there's three different locations for this set. Uh, we're going to be creating a center aisle which is now currently covered with a bunch of wood and nails. As you can see, it is very dangerous. And we only had, can you believe it? We didn't even have a hammer. I, a guy had to bring in a hammer. 
sorry, that's a tangent. Um, so anyway, we're gonna have a center aisle here. We're gonna be having some entrances and exits from this lovely door right here. Um, ignore that. That was the whiteboard. Um, <laughs> and then we're also going to have en entrances and exits on the side. So that's another problem, creating little curtains. Uh, don't mind these little storage unit right now. We're kind of just using this for our props. So as you can see, we kind of just pulled a couple things. Little bit of mugs, coffee pot. Those we found in the wall, don't ask. Some tape for the... Some tape for, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Some tape for the walls whenever we eventually get around to painting. But yeah, just another fun thing about this room. Look at this, it's got its own little podium. So this is where I stand when I direct sometimes. And I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, look at me. Me and my podium, my script on here. I feel so cool. I don't know. It's just nice having a place to actually put my script and not having to walk around with it. Because some people, I'm sure, get that struggle. They're walking around with the script and then you're trying to demonstrate or show something or point something and then all of a sudden your hands are full and then, yeah. Anyway, that's a tangent. So yeah, that's basically a little tiny snippet of what's been going on with me recently. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys a final little tour of the room. It's kind of basically got it already. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got all the wood that was from over there. So as you can see, we have a whiteboard back here that has a lot of like wood trimming. That's what all of this on the ground is. Um, and so they're probably gonna take it, throw it away, pitch it, burn it, I don't know. Not my problem, I just hope they take it. Um, yeah, so that's the whiteboard. The stage is gonna be up there, which I'm planning on actually using like some Christmas lights to also help fill the space. Um, also, I'm probably gonna create like a false stage using like some LED tape, uh, like tape light. Um, just to kind of help create like center aisle and also like outline the stage. That'll, that'll be pretty. It's a Christmas show, you know? Um, yeah, as you saw, and then over here is just a bunch of like storage stuff that they haven't handled yet. So that's something I'm going to have to handle, of course. Um, and then, yeah, this is where I typically throw my stuff. Don't mind me. Um, and then we're also going to set up here. I'm going to walk further away so you guys can see it a little better. But basically... We have a whiteboard right here. We're gonna end up uh, putting like a little uh, fireplace, little fireplace right there. Um, and then kind of really decorating this wall with like fairy lights, Christmassy, stars, lights. I keep saying lights, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> I really like Christmas lights. Um, and kind of just putting up some fabric, making it pretty, creating an environment. That's really what I'm gonna be going for with the show is creating an environment for the audience to really experience the world of Della and Jim. So yes, they're going to be walking to several different places. Um, so as I kind of broke down, the different corners are going to be almost the two different shops that Della and Jim go to. I'm sorry, Della, not Jim. Um, but it's gonna, we're gonna create a different effect or a different mood with that with lighting. Um, Christmas lights, I'm thinking. Um, some color changing LED lights is what I'm also thinking. Um, so really kind of delving into that rather than a lot of spectacle. As you can tell, the set's pretty minimal. This is basically it. It's gonna be two chairs, a table, which I'm probably gonna cover with a tablecloth, um, a stool, a mirror, which is over there, and then literally this cabinet, and then also a roll on um, little display case that, that we're probably gonna need to go. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the show. I'll keep you guys updated further. Um, but yeah, I hope you are interested. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to like it or don't. I'm just a starving theater major, don't mind me. Okay, I've just been a little less dramatic. I need some more drama in my life, you know? Maybe I don't need drama in my life, never mind. I'd, li I'd like to take that, that back. But yeah, anyway, toodles!